Every day, 1.7 million packages get lost or stolen. And out of that, a small percentage get auctioned off on websites like this or that. In this video, I'm gonna buy lost mail with a budget of $1,000, then we're gonna unbox it together and- Holy smokers! And see how much money I can make reselling it. To start things off, I found a listing on this website, unclaimmailcenter.com, selling 19 unclaimed packages for only $149. According to this listing, the website has a contract that allows them to buy lost mail in bulk from government auctions and then resell it to- Jumps like me. I don't know how true this is, but I just placed my order and it should be here in the next few days. With the goal to buy 100 packages, I placed a few more orders. I'm buying 13 unclaimed mail packages from Poshmark for $181.64. 40 more packages just got ordered from this website, unclaimmail.com, for $255.85. The final 30 lost mail packages are from this website, liquidation.com. The current bid is $110 for these random packages. So let's raise it to 121 bucks and hopefully in the next 15 hours we can win this auction Good morning guys. It is currently 8 17 a.m. Ignore my super red eyes I don't know what's going on But when you check the liquidation.com auction, you can see it's ending in four minutes and 25 seconds The current bid is $190. So let's refresh and see if I won boom It still says I'm the highest bidder just one minute and 19 seconds left So we pretty much got this in the bag and boom as you guys can see it closed at a hundred ninety dollars and we secured the W this package should be arriving pretty soon and then we're gonna go ahead and unbox everything oh no way it's a drone it's been a couple days and I just got a notification on my phone that I think at least one of our packages got delivered and sure enough on the porch we have some big packages right here I believe this is two of the three orders actually since I think this one is from Poshmark and the other one is from unclaimmail.com so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these packages inside and then we're we're gonna unbox them. I've got a lot of packages next to me and we're gonna open them all starting off with this package from Poshmark. I'm assuming this is anywhere between 10 and 15 lost mail packages. The addresses are even scribbled out, which is kind of cool. So let's open it. This first item seems pretty useless. It's some sort of belt. In the second lost mail package, it is two Christmas ornaments. At least now's the time of year to sell them. Wrist cuffs. Gloves, a dog collar, a hat, lots of Christmas gear, that's for sure. Ooh, this feels like a CD or something. It's a DVD for the movie Shut In with Naomi Watts. It's a Blu-ray at least. Nothing crazy was found in the first box, but I did get a necklace or something and a bunch of blankets and clothing that no one really wants. I looked up all the items from the first box and found the estimated retail value to be $86. That's not terrible on paper, but it's not factoring in the fact that all of the items are super weird and no one would probably want to buy them. The second box from unclaimmail.com was also filled with a bunch of, you guessed it, oh, no way, clothes. Another woman's dress. So we've got another t-shirt right here. White sweatshirt, more clothing, more clothing. Another random sweater I've never seen before. DVDs, video games, I've got one DVD. The rest are just random clothing garments from China. At this point, I was getting pretty disappointed. I have no idea what this is. Guys, I'm very disappointed. What is this? I don't know how, I, how I'm gonna be able to sell any of these items. How in the world am I gonna be able to sell this random thing that I don't even know what it is? I look like a Goodwill store. But after opening box number two, my luck started turning around. So next up, we have box number two from unclaimmail.com. I'm hoping this one isn't all closed. You have a pair of glasses. Hey, not bad. I'll take it. Nice little hat. Another pair of sunglasses, a beard and hair trimmer. Got some cologne. And then it was on to the last package where we got some expensive items. But while we open up these last few packages, this video is sponsored by Fund & Grow, a company founded in 2007 to help fund small businesses since 82% of them fail due to cash flow issues. This is kind of a cool experience. Like, even though I haven't gotten anything super crazy yet, this is like, holy smokers, a smartwatch. Sure enough. Fun & Grow currently offers a 12-month membership, which includes premium coaching, dedicated representatives, and up to $250,000 at 0% interest in an effort to help your business get off the ground and start producing cash flow. Kind of like I did off this package. This appears to be like a little pencil pouch. It has some Chinese lettering on it. Oh, no way. It's a drone. Okay, so we've got another pair of sunglasses but they're with Saint Laurent, so they're probably 
expensive. Hey, these are kind of nice high heels. I'm sure I could sell them for some sort of money. Fund and Grow has helped fund over $1.4 billion since 2007. And if you guys want to get started, click the top link down below in the description. Now let's recap this unboxing. The most expensive items we got are this cologne worth $30, this drone worth about $45, then finally we got the smartwatch worth $100. Bucks. Most of everything else is almost completely worthless. So what we're going to do is sell the three most expensive items. Then for everything else, I'm going to do something I learned from the movie, The Big Short. We just repackage it with a bunch of other shit that didn't sell and put it into a CDO. Each of the items I got from the box is a housing bond and all of the bad items are like a high risk housing bond no one wants to buy. But when you package all of these bad items together, it's suddenly considered a mystery box and more appealing to customers. So I'm going to sell a bunch of these five to 10 item mystery boxes in hopes of making my money back. So guys, I just created two listings each on eBay and Mercari. Then right here, you guys can see I've started grouping up the items for mystery boxes, trying to mix about 50% clothing and then 50% other stuff like these sunglasses right here, nice dress shoes, some necklaces. I'm even mixing in these Saint Laurent sunglasses, which are actually worth about $125. If all our mystery boxes sell, I should profit around $100 to $150 depending on shipping. And that doesn't even include the products I'm going to sell individually. So guys, I just created listings for the drone, the cologne, and the smartwatch on all of the major platforms. And starting tomorrow, we're going to go Wolf of Wall Street mode to try and make my $627 back. Good morning, guys. To start the morning off, we're gonna drop this package off at the post office since the cologne ended up selling and that's $25 in the bag after shipping costs. As for the mystery box listings, after we drop this package off at the post office, we need to talk about that since I'm realizing just how profitable this can be. As many people would do, I went ahead and searched on eBay to see what my competition is doing to sell mystery boxes successfully and I noticed that auctions do really well for this type of product. As an example, you can see someone selling this item called the Amazing Box and the current bid is $156 and better yet all the description says is the box has electronics in it and no refunds. I feel like a smart way to do this would to have people bid on your mystery box listing then depending on what the auction goes for you spend 70% of your money on items and keep the 30% as profit and to cover your expenses. So that's exactly what I did. Creating a listing titled the stunning box electronics home goods and more the listing is literally the exact same as the one going for 150 bucks with two days left. So let's post it with the 72 hour auction and hopefully we secure some cash over the next several days As my eBay auction started to get bidders two of my mystery boxes sold and when the final lost mail package came from liquidation.com Oh sick my package is here. I realized something. There's no way lost mail is a real thing Think about it. When was the last time you ordered something from the internet? What are the chances you ordered a $3 wrist cuff random lotion or a dress from 1965 the people selling lost mail clearly have some sort of idea that the values of the item Items they're selling aren't that significant or maybe they're just selling completely useless items disguised as a cool name like lost mail sound familiar because out of the 70 packages we open we only got two items worth more than a hundred dollars and think about the last time you ordered something online I have a feeling the average would be way higher than what we saw luckily though we still have 30 more packages to unbox and hopefully our luck will change nice little DVD for 22 Jump Street hey I'll take it we have another DVD, some ballpoint pens. Oh, hell yeah. We have a tire inflator for a car tire, I believe. Another movie. You got a nice little notebook. Despite not getting anything crazy, I'm super thankful for this experience and for the three mystery boxes that sold for a combined $112, I'm gonna put all my best stuff in them, including the St. Laurent sunglasses or the smartwatch. And as for the remaining $400 loss, well, I'm gonna take the L cause you can't win them all. So moral of the story, don't buy lost mail. And what I recommend you look into instead is flipping return pals. And I happen to have two videos about it right here on the screen. Peace out.